Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is the part 3 in this series. In this part we're gonna continue where we left off in the last video. Make sure to go through part 1 if you haven't watched it. Let's go. You can download all the reference images in the link down below. There are free. Select the image as to scale it a bit. Click here and turn on opacity. Bring the opacity a little bit down. If you don't like to see the reference image from the back, go ahead and click on front. From the outliner, we're gonna grab the new reference image into the reference folder. From here, we're gonna hide this one and this one to focus only on the hand. One notepad to front view, and now we are ready to go. Hit Ctrl space to maximize your work area. Ctrl space again to go back into the regular view. Or you can go with Ctrl alt space if you need more space on your screen. All right. In the front view, go with Shift A, Mesh, Cube, scale the cube down just like so, and move this cube along the Z axis only. Okay, go with SY to scale the cube along the Y axis only. Go back to front view, tap to edit mode, go with Ctrl R and add three loop cuts right there. Again, Ctrl R and add two more loop cuts right there. Not bad. In the vertex select, we need to follow the reference images like I'm doing right now. I knew I said that a lot, but I need to repeat that. Please take your time and don't rush. This is highly, highly important. Okay, we can exit the X-ray mode. In the face select, select this face, hold shift, select this one, this one, and this one, and go with SY to scale along the Y axis only. Go with I to inset faces. Click on this little box. For now, we need to turn on individual. Go with seven on bad to switch into the top view and scale that faces along the Y axis. We need to switch back into vertex select. I hope that you understand what I'm doing. I'm trying to find the base shape for the fingers. So that's good. Switch back into face select. Select all these faces and grab them along the Z axis just like so. It's important to set the pivot point from the top there into individual origins. As to scale that faces a bit, Alt Z to switch into X-ray mode, switch into vertex select and try to follow the reference images. Okay, in the face select, select all that faces, one notepad again, and E to extrude that faces. Okay, we're gonna use simple commands like S to scale, G to grab, etc., etc., to follow the reference images. When we are done, in the front view, we need to add a loop cut right there, and one more loop cut right there, and to repeat that for the other fingers. Okay, let's create the thumb. Select this face, in the front view, go with E to extrude as to scale, and rotate this face a bit just like so. We need to extrude this face one more time. Alt Z. 
Ctrl R, switch back into vertex select and grab these vertices just like so. Again, we need to add one more loop cut right there. And there we have it. One last time, Ctrl R and that looks good. Hmm, not bad. In the face select, select this face and go with SY to scale. Again, select this one and this one and go with SY to scale them a bit. And of course, we need extra time to move vertices around and to get a better shape. It looks good to me. We are almost done. Go with control space to go back into the regular view. From the outliner, we're gonna go ahead and hide the reference images. Go ahead and unhide this camera icon. In this way, we disappear the reference images for the final render as well. Go with Alt H to unhide everything. And again, we're gonna disappear the reference folder. Select the hand, scale it a bit. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and grab the hand into the top just like so. Go with RZ 180 to rotate the hand just like so. And of course, we're gonna place the hand in the place that's below. When you are happy with that, go with Ctrl A, all transforms, go to modifiers, add modifier, mirror modifier. Okay, click here and turn on statistic. And of course, now we have important information about the shape that we have. Switch back into vertex select. As you see guys, we have 10 vertices around this loop and eight vertices around this one. Select the hand with all these vertices selected, hit X and go with faces. Select this vertex, this one and this one, hit M and merge them at the center just like so. Hold Alt mouse left click to select this loop. As you see guys, now we have eight vertices right there and this is what we need. Okay, to merge them together, we need to move this loop a bit just like so. In the object select, select the hand, hold shift, select the body and go with Ctrl J to join them together. Tap to edit mode, select this loop, go with Shift Alt mouse left click to select this one. Go with Ctrl E, bridge edge loops. And there we have it. Select this loop, hit X and go with dissolve edges. Ctrl R again to add a loop cut right there. As to scale, that looks much, much better. Okay, go with Ctrl S to save your file. So guys, that was all about today's video. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one, bye.